Welcome back, everyone. My name is Meredith Blood. We are back with a very special episode. Before you click away from this video, make sure you smash the like button because I have something very important to tell you. We are going to talk about shinies, but not just shinies. We're going to talk about how you can find a shiny if you never find one, and how this can increase your chances of like shiny hunting. If you never have the patience for shiny hunting, this video can change all of that. And I'm going to put it in simple words for you to understand, so there's no confusion. From a five top ways, or really ways, to shiny hunt with all these generational games of Pokemon. Now, Pokemon has expanded so much from just the first region to even rumors of now Sword and Shield. I am very excited. I cannot wait. So this makes it even better to increase y'all chances to when the new game come out, y'all look for shiny Pokemon even more. You never find a shiny Pokemon? This video is going to help you out. So make sure you pay close attention. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you also check the link in the description and everything like that because I am on Twitter and I also be streaming on Twitch. Help me become a Twitch affiliate and with that I'm going to talk about the five ways you can shiny hunt in all of these Pokemon games. Keep in mind you can't use them in all of the games but in each game you can use one of these methods. So we're going to start with the very basic which would be number five. Chaining, fishing, Poke radar, island scans, all that stuff, software setting, you know, the basic stuff to, to win. We didn't even have sh access to a shiny charm. So all them days when we would be completing our Pokedexes and no reward of a shiny charm, now that has changed. We can get a shiny charm if we complete our Pokedex, which increases our chances of finding a shiny, which applies heavily to the first method, because no matter how many times you encounter a Pokemon, the ratio of finding of encountering a shiny is always that number now the first method is pretty much caveman stuff the the, the basics the the amateur you know it's the things we it's the thing we go on we use more than any and it's just chaining simple as that fishing Poke radar if you remember the center region. Island scans, you can do that in the sun and moon. You know, ultra sun and moon as well. Especially if you um, check out Celebi.net. They tell you the days that certain Pokemon show up for island scans. So you can just plop yourself in that area, use the island scan, and bam, you can just soft reset and do all that until you find a shiny. And if you have the shiny charm, you increase your chances of finding it that. Now, moving on to number four. That would be egg breeding. Second generation, Johto region, one of my favorites, one of my all-time memorable that will always stick with me when it comes to Pokemon, and that will be the Johto region. Egg breeding. Baby Pokemon. If you have a shiny charm, especially with X and, um, with Sun and Moon, and Ultra Sun and Moon now, shiny charm, and different region Pokemon, it increases your chances even more to even hatch a shiny. So... Having 20, that's exaggeration, <laughs> having maybe like 5 or 4 boxes full of the same Pokemon because you're looking for, because you're just chaining or farming for um, a shiny, well, increase your chances, Get your, make sure you get yourself a shiny charm and you make sure you have different region Pokemon to be able to apply that method. There's a name for it, it's, <sighs> y'all be able to tell me more than I'll be able to tell you. But I do know you basically get a different region Pokemon to be able to get the shiny quicker. Now we're going to move on to three, which would be Hordes, which is one of my easiest and kind of like in the middle. X and Y, Kalos region, Pokemon, certain Pokemon, they're in Hordes. You breed for them, all that good stuff. Oh. I mean, they're not breed for them. You find them, they may be in a horde. I would be farming for for IVs and points and all that good stuff. Trying to get get my Pokemon looking right. 
and certain chances maybe every five minutes I would run into a shiny because all I'm doing is just I'm just the hordes every horde I'm chaining for it just increases the chances of a shiny just to pop up you got like four or five Pokemon coming at you all at once one of them are gonna be a shiny so it's in the middle <sighs> two SOS calls with the help well Sun and Moon and an item called the Adrenaline Orb Pokemon have a tendency to call for help with that you can abuse that with the Adrenaline Orb you able to use it to find SOS Pokemon which I could talk about in a different video as that if you don't know what SOS Pokemon are or how to get certain SOS Pokemon and all that stuff and yeah basically you use the adrenaline orb to just make sh it keep on calling for help and you should be able to find a shiny that way I have yet to find a shiny that way but you can find a shiny that way um and the last one which would be the true number five but it holds true as number one as we go from lowest to top tier which would be wormhole shiny hunting Wormhole Shiny Hunting, an Ultra Sun and Moon, thanks to Ultra Sun and Moon, the time from the original Sun and Moon, we can go through the Ultra Wormholes and look for USBs, which would be the White Wormholes, and regular Pokemon and Legends, which would be the Red, Blue, Green, and Yellow um, Wormholes. The farther you go, it's based on distance, the farther you go in Light Gears, the, the number and all that stuff is a percentage on that wormhole being a, sh um, a shiny Pokemon. Like, as soon as you go through that wormhole and you get your do the encounter, that Pokemon should be a shiny based on the percentage and what type of wormhole it is and all that stuff. Based on the rings. So, there's three rings, two, and one, and none. And the farther you go, you can run into a three ring um, wormhole. There can be a shiny Pokemon behind it, or you can apply number five, the chaining, to this method as well if you want to, and just fly the wormholes and just soft reset until you find a shiny, then leave the wormhole. Simple as that, right? Just make sure you have the shiny charm. A lot of this relies, well, produces greater results with a shiny charm. I feel like it's more time consuming without it because you're just waiting for luck. Especially with the first method because we're chaining. Yeah, we run into 100 Pokemon, but is that one Pokemon going to be a shiny? Probably not. Like, in my experience, I didn't see a shiny type Pokemon until probably after third gen. So, it's pretty understandable. So, to all those who don't like shiny hunting, or it's just not their thing, or just don't have the patience, try out any of these methods in any of these games. So, with chaining, you could do it in every game. Egg breeding, every game. But, if you want better results, I would stick to the generations that introduce the shiny charm. Hordes, X and Y... SOS calls and wormholes. You can do SOS calls and Ultra Sun and Moon and Sun and Moon, but you can only do wormhole hunting and Ultra Sun and Moon. So, yeah. Try out any of those five methods and tell me in the comment section how long it took you to find you a shiny Pokemon. What generation what it was? How did you feel? Did you believe that there are actually shiny Pokemon in the game? And, yeah. With that, Red Blind is signing out. See you guys later. Bye-bye.